How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Gaunt. I'm going to show you how to make Premiere Pro faster by doing these five simple things. Let's get into the video. Okay, so tip one, disable high quality playback. Come over to the wrench icon, click on it, scroll down to high quality playback and disable by clicking on it so that the tick isn't showing. Also lower playback quality by clicking on this button and select half or quarter. This puts less pressure on the CPU while scrolling through your timeline. To check how your playback is doing, come over to the drop frame indicator, hover over it with your mouse and it will let you know how many frames you're dropping while scrubbing through clips in your timeline. If the drop frame indicator is not there, click on the wrench icon, select drop frame indicator. Tip number two, turn on global effects mute button. Turning on this button disables all the effects in your timeline for smoother playback. If you don't see it, click on the plus button and drag the effects button in here. Tip number three, disable or enable clips. Right click on your clip and scroll down to enable. Click on it so that the tick button is off. This disables your clip so that Premiere Pro no longer reads it within the timeline. You'll notice by the darker color of the clip. To turn it back on, right click and select enable again. Tip four, open up the preferences tab. Select memory and allocate as much RAM as you can for usage in Premiere Pro. You do this by hovering your mouse over this number, clicking and sliding to the left. As you can see, the RAM available for Premiere Pro or other Adobe applications increases or decreases. Next, make sure you optimize Premiere Pro for performance by clicking this button and selecting performance. Next, delete media cache. In preferences, select media cache and next to remove media cache files, click on delete. This will get rid of all the media cache files that Premiere Pro isn't using for your current project. Make sure for faster overall performance, if you can, save your media cache files to the fastest drive you have that is separate to what your operating system or Premiere Pro is installed on. This will hugely speed up the imports of your footage. Don't forget to like and subscribe take care and I'll see you next time